We may have survived last week's extreme cold snap, but experts are hoping mountain pine beetles did not. Temperatures around Jasper, Hinton and Sundry, which are key battlegrounds in the fight against pine beetles, dip below minus 40 during the polar vortex. University of Alberta Biological Sciences Professor Janice Cook says early projections show it might have been enough to wipe out more than 95% of the pine beetle larvae. The temperatures were so low that we see really significant um, winter kill of, of mountain pine beetles. A pair of mountain pine beetles can easily produce 40 offspring. So you can imagine that if none of those offspring are killed by winter temperatures, then they're all going to grow up to be beetles, and that's going to be a huge increase in the population year over year over year. Having these winter killing temperatures two years in a row, um, it doesn't kill all the beetles, but it kills a lot of them. Lethbridge is on the route to another important pine forest that has also been impacted um, heavily by a mountain pine beetle, and that's Cypress Hills. So I would like to remind um, all of your viewers in Lethbridge area to not transport firewood because this is one way that we can introduce mountain pine beetle to those precious forests and, and possibly cause even more damage than the natural spread of the beetle itself. A spokesperson from Alberta Forestry says it typically takes a few years of large-scale cold events to cause notable mortality rates in pine beetles.